Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker campus and it's a blessing to be with all of you here today. As a follower of Jesus Christ, how do you respond when someone is, are you ready for this? They're rude to you, they criticize you, and maybe they're always fault finding. Are you quick to respond with patience and grace and ready to overlook their offenses? Or do you respond quickly with anger and ready to confront that person, that email, that post, because you're ready to make your point be heard? When we respond in anger, our emotions blur our reasoning and we get tunnel vision. And you might have gotten it off your chest, but the damage is already done. So how do we handle those situations? Because there's going to be many, many situations just like that as a follower of Christ. Well, we go to God's Word. In Proverbs 19, 11, it says this, Good sense makes one slow to anger, and it is his glory to overlook an offense. You see, that verse paints a picture of how a wise person responds to wrong and being wrong. As Christians, how can we overlook being wrong so we don't respond in anger and let it stew on our minds? Well, Peter says this in the Bible. He says, when we are mindful of God, we patiently endure unjust treatment. When we take our focuses off the offense done to us and overlook it by looking up to God, being mindful of God and remembering and trusting that he is our defender and that vengeance is his and not ours, well, it will have us responding more like Christ than ourselves. It'll have us responding more with patience and grace instead of anger, which in turn will leave a great, great testimony for those around us, like our family, our friends, our coworkers, those who are watching our lives. They wonder why they didn't get the response they normally would have received, which leaves the door open for a gospel conversation. Because remember, as followers of Jesus Christ, our mission is to lead others to him, to Jesus. So the next time you are offended or wrong, will you respond with patience and grace by being slow to anger and overlooking their offense? God bless you and have a good day.